I'm here in downtown Schenectady, right off of J Street, at the Schenectady Light Opera Company to get a look behind the scenes at their upcoming production of The Glorious Ones. Follow me. What is Schenectady Light Opera Company? It's a community theater. We formed in 1926, and we've had various homes since then. Um, some in Schenectady City Schools, some on our old theater on State Street in Schenectady, and now we're here. It was a church before this, and we renovated it into what we have now as our theater. So it's not opera at all. Normally, we do five um, shows a season, and they're all musical theater shows. We're rehearsing The Glorious Ones. They're opening in just a few weeks. I'd call it a dramedy. Um, not very often done. I don't think it's been done locally. It's a really unique story of uh, the Italian Renaissance and individuals coming together to put on a, an improvisational group and sort of the struggles that they, they come across as they do that. James is a slack veteran. He's been with us in multiple shows. He's also directed a show with us. He's also uh, musically directed with us. He's got a powerhouse voice uh, and a presence when he's on stage. He's a dramatic actor. He's a comedic actor. Um, he just, he, he walks out and you don't have a choice but to pay attention. Flaminio Scala was a playwright, a more accurately scenario writer, who more or less invented what we know as Commedia dell'arte. It's essentially improv comedy. It's used as inspiration for Shakespeare. It's something that has influenced comedy and drama and really written theater in general since then. This is a story about a bunch of very real people who lived a long time ago, who had lives, who've created these things that influenced the things that we watch now, um, but who also were people who had flaws and ideals and things that they wanted to put out in the world. And more than being about acting or about theater, uh, this show is about legacy. It's about what we leave behind when we're gone. It's something I think anyone can identify with. It's so real. Um, and I, I think people will love it. Our main income is our ticket sales. Um, so for the past year and a half, almost two years, we haven't had any ticket sales. So um, we've definitely been struggling, um, but we're, we're hopeful that this season will, will bring us back to where we need to be. Slack feels like a home away from home for me. I've been doing shows here since 2014, and actually I was in the show, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, which is the show that closed, we actually didn't even open. Um, we were set to open right as things shut down. Um, and so that was, it kind of was like an un, you know, a sentence without a period at the end. And it really felt as though things hadn't ended with that show. So to be able to come back into such an incredible cast, um, this has been an extremely positive experience so far. And Slock has done, really they've gone above and beyond to make sure that people feel safe and ready to be back on stage. Glorious Ones goes up the 12th through the 21st of November. We just cast our next show, Songs for a New World. Um, that'll be coming up in January with a new director to us, Rose Baker Staff. Um, she is doing something kind of unique with that show. It's typically a song cycle where a cast of four um, just sort of stand and sing. They're certainly blocking and there's lots of emotion, but um, she's adding a bit of a choreography twist to it. She's got a slightly larger cast, so we're excited to see what she'll bring with that. Then we're moving to a classic, Merrily We Roll Along. Um, that will be coming up in March. March. And then we close out the season with Violet with an entirely new production team and uh, sort of a unique show that's not done very often in local community theater. I love Slock, and that's the reason why I'm volunteering in the positions that I'm volunteering in. Um, I met my spouse here. 
Um, it just, it definitely has a special place in my heart. It feels like coming home. This is really a, a second home for a lot of people, myself included. So to be able to come here, to be able to see people really enjoying themselves, to see the process come back to life, I think a lot of people are happy to be back in the, in the Slock family again.